Hello, First Christian Church. I'm Abby, and it's time to tune in to this week's FCC Pulse. It's that time of year. It's time to pack Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes. Three, two, count of three when children open the shoe boxes, they're so excited. I mean, it's just been incredible. Kids are so excited. Giving them a gift, do it in Jesus' name, and that's what this is all about. Jesus loves you. It's a gospel opportunity. It's the chance for the children to change the entire life. The Word of God is spreading. The gospel is advancing. It is impacting children. It is impacting families. It is impacting the world greatly. Thank you for praying. Thank you for giving. God will bless, and God will use your gift to touch the life of a child and to be able to do it in Jesus' name. So thank you. Thank you for being a part of it. God bless each and every one of you. Instead of our traditional packing party this year, we will have boxes available for you to take home and pack. The deadline for dropping off your presents is November 15th by 1 p.m., so be sure to visit fccgreen.org OCC or click the Operation Christmas Child image on the Home tab of our app for more information. With only three Tuesdays left before the presidential election, Brown Bags and Bibles is in a five-week series called Biblical Politics. Your religion is interfering with the justice you provide. And I think, where do you think justice comes from? It comes from the heart of God. Yeah. And who cannot be informed by all sorts of things? To say you need to separate your religion from justice, yeah. uh, first of all, is unrealistic. And one of my retorts is, uh, what particular form of what you don't call religion, but that really is, are you right. embedding in the way that you meet out your form of justice or right. not? The, the reality is we should want God's justice because God's justice is the only form that is actually true yes. and equal and is impartial. So the closer we are to what God's standards are, the better it is for the common good in our culture. Absolutely. This is the common grace that extended to all creates the best world possible. Right, right. And, and, and it's not, I'm not Catholic as the current um, Amy, Amy Coney Barrett. Yeah, I'm yeah. not Catholic. But to, to say that your faith should not inform your view of justice is, is unrealistic and frankly, it's not biblical. Um, it's, it's not it's not reasonable. No. It's not practicable no. in that sense. Nobody actually does nobody, it. Nobody can function that way. There is no such thing as amoral justice. Right. To watch the previous episodes, click the Watch tab in our app and make sure to join us on Tuesdays at 12 p.m. on Facebook Live to join the discussion. You can download the app at secgreed.org app. Well, that wraps up this week's SEC Pulse. Thanks for tuning in.